Howdy! In this quick video I'm going to share with you a quick observation which I've made on Amazon uh, which is that they've been in change their Amazon seller details page uh, before it was a it was quite a bad tabbed page and distinctly unlike Amazon there wasn't an awful lot of seller information going on there so in this quick video I'm going to show you what's changed and also why it's very important that you actually update your seller information as well. So I, I've got Amazon up in front of me and I've been looking for uh, some Peppa Pig goods for all my little one's uh, Christmas present. So I'm just going to pick on this item here. Uh, actually that's not the best item because we're after an item which um, is not being sold by Amazon and the same for that one. Let's go pick, pick on one which I know is like that okay brilliant so it's just a typical item uh, this item's been sold by Lego Universe so I'm going to click on that seller ID and it's this page which has been in changed now before like I mentioned that we, there used to be a, a tabbed uh, section to this and there was also very few or if not any items being shown on there uh, and Amazon have reconstructed this page so not only do you have uh, the, the core essentials about the seller themselves in the top left you also have their items and a search facility but you've also got what was in separate tabs before all being shown to the customer so they can see the, the true report card on the seller uh, Lego universe in this case so you can see about the seller information up here in the top left you can see their recent feedback you can see the report card and you can see any additional information Okay, now I've actually got a couple of other examples here just to show you the differences between them. So this is BP Sales Direct, so you can see the report card here. They've got more information here. You've got the latest feedback. And a, a quick note here is that if you are receiving any neutrals and negative feedbacks on Amazon, then you really do need to be hot on them because this page will get used more and more and more. And the last thing which we want to see is a, a negative or neutral feedback here, which has not got a follow-up comment. Okay, and you can see the, the information is very similar there on the right hand side. There's another seller and you can see that, that about the seller here in the information and the, and the, they've also got their returns and refunds policy. And then there's another seller as well, um, just to bring it through. Uh, that was Lego Universe, which we've seen, uh, and another guy or uh, business called El, uh, Eblo Trading. Um, and you can see the information which is available here. Now the question is where you can edit that and I'll show you right now. So after you log into Seller Central, down the left hand menu there's a link saying your info and policies. So if you click on there, each of the sections uh, which appear on the right hand side, uh, it, you're, you're able to edit them uh, within this section. So if I click on say about seller, um, I'm able to, or you're able to, go and change your information here on the right hand side. Okay, if I need to change the logo, uh, you can do here too. And again, if you don't have a logo, uh, I strongly suggest you do, and the dimensions are 120 by 30 pixels. Okay, and you can also update your returns and refunds information and your other information here as well. And that again, there is a pair on the right hand side of your seller details page on uh, Amazon itself. So I thought I'd share that with you and also how you can update it. Uh, if you'd like to find out anything more like this um, or any of the other articles which I've either written or uh, included in the video, you can find more about me at lastdropofink.co.uk. Cheerio!